Hello, this is a picture sent to me by Commander Fall Harbour. It's not the first on my list to do even. I, I just enjoyed it so much. It's a really deceptively simple image. It's a panoramic shot, so they've zoomed out basically. So you get some distortion on the clouds. But I, I like that in this picture. I, I don't like it when I see people have zoomed out and they've got this oval planet that looks really odd. But this in particular, I really, I really like it because it's such a simple image and it, it really does give you the sense of being in that environment. It's in the jellyfish sector. It's, uh, jellyfish is a good place to go to actually. It's, uh, it's rather kind of diffuse and, and quite a pretty nebula. But, and it actually it's about 5,000 light years from the bubble. So you know that there's those missions. I can't remember who it is. I should have checked actually. If only I did some research. Uh, there's an engineer you've got to have traveled 5,000 light years away from your first starting system for. And this would be an ideal place to go, I reckon. Though most people tend to go to the Vale because there's a few nebulae there. They're like the North America and I think Pelican's out there too. And also Sadr, which is nice because it's orange. I like that one. But this one is good if you're going on a, a slightly longer journey because you can go to Witch Head, then you can go to Barnard's Loop, which is entirely safe and great fun. All of these places south of the bubble. No possibility of being destroyed on the way. And then you've got, after that, you've got the opportunity to go uh, a little bit further south west. That, that'll take you to heart and soul. So if you were intending to have a longer journey, you, you could really have fun with this one. It's really one of my favourite things to do. You don't make massive discoveries if you nebula hop, to be honest. But do you know what? It's all about the enjoyment, isn't it? And you're always going to find a planet that no one's stood on before. Anyway, thanks for listening.